Transformers Online is almost here. More evidence to share regarding the development update for Transformers Online as well as some company changes along the way. Today, let's also discuss in depth about what to possibly expect for this AAA title. Let's check it out. Hello all of you amazing Autobots and Decepticons, I am your host Frosty Coffee, here to bring you a ton of updated details regarding the development for Transformers Online. I would also like to discuss my thoughts and ideas on what to expect for core gameplay and story for the game going forward. Now, let's recap what we know so far. In the background, I will have some gameplay playing from some of the previous Transformers games. Before we get started, I would like to introduce everyone to a brand new subreddit community dedicated to Transformers Online by Certain Affinity. It is a community hub to share news, trailers, gameplay videos, screenshots, share discussions, our experiences in-game, and more. It was sad losing all of the servers for the previous Transformers games. However, if you would like to connect with other Transformers fans, please join in. Share your experiences as a strong Transformers multiplayer community and battles as an Autobot or a Decepticon. If you would like to support this game further, please help me build this community Reddit and Discord. Let's make a strong Transformers video game family once again. Links will be in the description below. Certain Affinity is known for Halo, Call of Duty, Left 4 Dead, the Doom reboot, and more. More importantly, is currently developing the new Transformers upcoming Generation 1 online game that is declared as a AAA title. The game has been in development since 2017. Currently, the team is working on their open beta, which is almost complete. If you want to know more details on that specifically, you can view the leaked information by clicking on my video up in the top right hand corner of your screen. Currently, we know that Liu Technologies oversees the project and is currently under contract with Hasbro for the next Transformers game. They have contracted out to Certain Affinity to develop Transformers Online. Now before going forward, please consider supporting my channel by smashing that subscribe button and ringing the bell icon to know when my next Transformers video goes live. While I was making this script, we came across some unknown details. Now I don't usually like to post anything that isn't factual and has context behind it, but I just wanted to side note this conversation I had with Certain Affinity on Twitter. They recently posted saying they have so many character artists hard at work and still looking for more. It was a job posting basically. I mentioned how I can't wait to see what they can create next. They then continued to reply saying lots of great content is being made behind the scenes. Stay tuned. So, Certain Affinity sounds like they're preparing for something big when they reply like that, but also a random user that could easily just be another Transformers fan, oddly enough, throws a statement at Certain Affinity saying this. Maybe we will see some pixels of information on July 30th, which just so happens to be around the time that War for Cybertron Siege, the Rooster Teeth Netflix series is being launched which is very interesting. For Transformers fans, that is massive news if it's real, and also plays right into the hands of the marketing team for certain affinity if they play their cards right. Revealing a new Transformers game alongside a TV series would be such an epic way to announce a brand new AAA Transformers game. If so, you heard the details here first. If not, no worries, Transformers Online is almost here and Certain Affinity is about to deliver regardless. Now, let's transform into these new details. Following the details revealed on July 6, we had some new information that is very impactful towards Transformers Online. Back in 2017, Certain Affinity filed for a game under the name of Last Expedition to start development in September. As of last month on June 8th, 2020, we had a confirmation from Certain Affinity that Last Expedition was abandoned, 
meaning certain affinity has no other games on their plate other than Transformers Online. It is even more evident after hearing the leaked details for the, fin for the financial loan from Liu Technologies to continue the project and produce a higher quality project of the open beta. Now hearing that there is an open beta, this could easily be an in-house open beta. However, I feel that the game could potentially be revealed to us very soon for testing publicly, allowing players to sign up for a closed beta test, then an open beta test. Currently, Certain Affinity has been very quiet regarding the development and progress of the game. But if you watch my previous video, you will know that the leaked details state that the game is 70% complete. This alone is very exciting news. We could very well be getting official confirmation of the game. All we will have to do is wait and see, and see at this point. Hopefully, we will get an announcement this summer or early fall. Now, let's talk about marketing and something that could either be very scary or good for Transformers Online. Some of you have already noticed the fact that Transformers game no longer exists on Twitter, Facebook, and the YouTube channel is now abandoned. For pretty much a decade, we have been following those pieces of social media for new Transformers games to be released. However, we do know now that ever since Activision's contract ended, they no longer support the games and have since shut down not only every single Transformers game server under their name, but also removed any trace of them on almost every major platform from PC to console stores. Goodbye, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, Rise of the Dark Spark, and Devastation. We most likely will be now following certain affinities socials, but it would be nice to have a separate handle so that we can follow the game specifically through Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Now, into more company impactful situations. Now this article came from GameStop themselves regarding Liu Technologies specifically. Liu Technologies has roughly a thousand employees and is currently overseeing Transformers Online with certain affinity. As we know from the beginning of the recap, Liu Technologies has a contract with Hasbro. However, as of July 12th, Liu Technologies may make a contract with Tencent Games to be bought out. Now this could either be a good or a bad thing for Transformers Online. We currently know Tencent Games was the previous owner of the name for Transformers Online, but has since shut down their first person shooter with movie-like characters on February 13th, 2020. Now we know that the game is currently being developed by Certain Affinity and we know that Tencent Games is not developing it, but going forward it may make some hard choices or something that may make choices if Tencent Games is part of the company. Now GameSpot only talks about Warframe since Liu Technologies is well known for Warframe. One other surprising detail is that Tencent Games was also after Digital Extremes just a few days ago with a deal. Now it makes me wonder what Tencent Games is especially after their previous Transformers FPS. Now throughout the article it also mentions that Sony was interested in taking hold of Liu Technology, which in my opinion I would be very happy about. But so far Tencent is in line to take it all. However, keep in mind the deal hasn't gone through just yet. My only concern is that Transformers Online's direction would change in the future if Tencent Games takes a hold of Liu Technology. Now I truly hope that Liu holds up to their statement about Transformers Online being a game for us to play for months and years to come. Continuing on, I would like to discuss some core gameplay designs and story for Transformers Online. This next part is purely a discussion, sharing my thoughts based on the information currently available. As we all know, Transformers Online has no public information. It has been in the dark ever since 2017 with various leaks that shouldn't be publicly available. Let's first talk about story. Considering this game is strictly an online game, I expect this game to be an online experience. So, as I stated in my previous video, I feel this game is going in the direction similar to Destiny. Now all we know so far is the game revolves around Generation 1. My thoughts are that the game could possibly start on Earth. But, personally I believe the game should stick with a name other than Transformers Online due to the fact that we already have two other iterations using the name. 
The last known name before it switched to Transformers Online was from an employee resume when they left the project. On the employee's resume, it listed as Transformers Impact. Now back to the marketing side of things. It would be great placeholder considering Transformers Impact has never been used on any piece of social media. Considering those facts, it comes back to my point about the side story of things. If the game has used Transformers Impact in the past, it would be safe to say we will be impacting or landing on Earth. It could also mean the impact of war, meaning war for Cybertron. That also goes very well considering the possible release reveal on July 30th. Also, the fact that Generation 1 and also with the Netflix series, even though they're not directly related to each other, it would be awesome if the marketing team revolved around that. And if the game is based on that, then it would be absolutely perfect timing for certain affinity to go with a Cybertron beginning. My idea is that the story revolves around us experiencing the wars on Cybertron in a more impactful way from previous games. Seeing the dark but gruesome battles and war stories of the resistances leading up to choosing a side between Autobot and Decepticon. In the beginning, we know that Megatronus and Orion Pax started it all, and the wars continued soon after. Upon choosing a faction, like you would see in a few MMOs in today's day, and age, we will see the outcome of two different stories. Depending on what we choose, we could either see an Autobot storyline or a Decepticon storyline based on what we choose. At some point throughout the story, I expect us to live in either Iacon City or Kaon City in the future based on the factions we chose. We will become intimate with the war and learn what happened to these factions during the war we will finally be able to learn the struggles of the Autobots versus the Decepticons. We will be a soldier following orders of our great leaders Optimus Prime or Megatron and fighting our way off of the planet. The story could also go completely a different way starting on the fall to Earth and looking for Energon resources in order to function while also fighting the great battle on Earth. I personally think that Transformers Online will play a lot like an MMO, even though it's a third person shooter. Similar to Destiny being that in-between factor of being an MMO, but not an MMO in the genre. If certain affinity takes the road of Transformers Online, we can most likely expect expansions. The first expansion can have a subname such as Transformers Online, The War of Beginnings something like that. The possibilities are endless and all we can do is speculate, but with the details I'm about to give you could very well give us the story and core gameplay we have all been searching for in a Transformers game. Certain Affinity and Liu Technologies wants us to play a Transformers online game for months and years to come. So the style of approach that I just mentioned is probably the ideal way to look at this upcoming Transformers AAA game. About three weeks ago on LinkedIn.com, Certain Affinity placed a few job postings. One of them was for a core systems designer. Now, I'm only going to list relevant details that would be specific for the game from this job posting. This job entails designing core gameplay systems, player mechanics, game mechanics, game modes, inventory systems, and more. Designing slash implementing gameplay elements linked to combat, NPC abilities, player progression, analysis from player feedback for optimization and game experience. The extras were player character classes, enemies slash NPC slash AI, UI design, developing on multiple platforms such as PC and console. Now let's break that down. Knowing all of that information, I can easily theorize further what the game will play like. Let's first talk about the core gameplay systems. Player mechanics and game mechanics. This could be a reference to content such as AoEs, line AoEs, having to fight in environments that require you to hide behind objects in order to survive attacks, dodging, and transforming out of the way from enemies and providing a way to defeat enemies, bosses, and players online. Next, we have game modes. Game modes have been a big part of previous online Transformers games. Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, 
domination of A, B, C, or D notes, plant the bomb, and more. Knowing certain Affinity's background, they could easily develop a map similar to previous games, with all of these game modes, but on a larger scale. We are Transformers, and I expect there to be destructible environments, some buildings, and large zones for us to fight on. A big note that links back to MMO style approach is an inventory system. How much can we carry on us? Will we have to worry about how much we carry with us? Is it kind of like a survival? Or will it be simply, we have an inventory? Will it slow us down in combat by carrying too much? Overall, for our armory inventory system, do we need to carry Energon-like potions or medical repair modules and weaponry upgrades we pick up throughout the world? and more. This is what I think of when I hear an inventory system. Moving forward, we have elements linked to combat. Now this could be a multiple different things. It could be debuffs and weather elements that could make combat more difficult. Although this is starting to sound a lot like an MMO, it could also just be outside of the realm of one where we are affected by different styles of elements. Energon storms, Dark Energon Surges, Rain, Winter, or back to the basics of different elements inflicting our Transformers. Now let's talk about enemies, NPCs, and AI. When I think of an NPC, I think of being able to talk to other AIs that are part of main quests, storylines, and side quests. So I feel we will need to do some recon missions or military missions on Cybertron or Earth, depending on where we are from this main hub for either the Autobots or the Decepticons. With that in mind, the game could allow us to work together as a community to achieve a goal throughout story missions, dungeons, and raids. The next part is huge and I am very excited if this is implemented. Progression system. This very much goes back to the whole quest line system of receiving experience from quest lines. A progression system can be done in different ways. But the, for the sake of simplicity, a leveling system, being able to level up our Transformers, gear up, choose our own skills, abilities, and perks, allowing us to unlock new parts and weapons in order to gear up and prepare for future battles. Now I threw this one in here from the job posting title because of the open beta. So this could be more of a community thing where players that give feedback from the open beta are able to share their experiences giving constructive criticism to the devs in order to update the game for launch. This almost confirms beta, but doesn't as well, considering this is a basic position for development patch updates. Player classes. This can be broken up similar to some of the previous Transformers games with class types such as Scout, Voyager, Titan, or Leader. These are just some examples of what player classes can look like. Now, whether or not that includes us being able to customize our Transformers is up for debate but I feel they should allow us to, considering past games and living up to the fan expectations. I see no reason for there not to be unique character customization, especially if we look at some of the previous Transformers games the teams have worked on. To further support this, a different job posting mentioned character creation. Last but not least, UI design. We have seen some pretty good looking UI designs in the past for Transformers games. It would be interesting to see a sexy new look for Transformers games being able to access content, especially in-game. Accessing menus and more would be great if they were designed around us as a player being able to customize our Transformers character. So one good example would be having our health versus being healed. If we are close to dying, our screens start to glitch out giving us an error codes to represent imminent death maybe something similar to Iron Man's helmet. With no other games on certain affinities plate a job posting for three weeks ago, the systems I just listed could be possible core gameplay designs for a AAA Transformers game. This could very well be the next big Transformers game we all have been waiting for. However, all of these core gameplay designs may not even happen. All of this is purely speculation in terms of story and core gameplay. But considering certain affinity is looking to hire someone that is capable of doing these tasks makes me excited and curious what they have planned. Before we leave, don't forget to hit the like button. 
All right, Transformers fans, please take some time and let me know what you all think about these details in the comment section below. If you want to see up-to-date news, walkthroughs, tutorials, gameplays, and more, stay tuned to my channel for amazing content for Transformers Online. As of today, we started a brand new gaming community based on the Transformers Online by Certain Affinity. Please take some time and visit the links in the description below for Reddit and Discord. We are looking to build a big Transformers Online community for PC and console. Share your experiences with us, chat with others throughout the day, meet others and help build a new community alongside your fellow Autobot or Decepticon. Until next time, transform and roll out. That's all my time for today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting my channel by smashing that subscribe button and ring the bell on the way out to know when my next Transformers video goes live. If you want to see more from me throughout the week, you can also watch me on Twitch for Frosty Fridays and follow me on Twitter to get up to date news on what I'm doing throughout the week. Thank you all again. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you Autobots and Decepticons next time. And of course, stay frosty everyone.